your leader take one hey folks it's Nathan Shepard here from top fly guide service here to show you what my year leader looks like I get asked a lot what I use and why I use it and um, here I'm making a video to show you why um, so uh, first off um, I tie about a 20 foot leader um, as you know our fly line is not what turns over our flies in urinimping. Um, so the weight of our flies and the um, the weight of the stiffness of the leader is going to um, turn over our flies and allow us to fish. So um, first thing I start off with is 20 pound maximum. So. A 20 pound max i've already retied or pre-tied this leader uh, so you don't have to watch me tie a bunch of knots uh, and cut and measure out stuff so uh, all i'm going to do here is tie on this to my um, fly line just with a nail knot uh, uv glue it this is going to allow us to uh, that the uh, line does not get hung up in the eyelets as much and um, we all know that we can uh, break off the fish that way so uh, first way I measure it is I uh, measure about 10 feet. I do that by completely outstretching my arms. It's going to get us a little under six feet there. And then I'm going to stop here and then measure about this far. So at about 10 feet uh, maxima. The heavier maxima, uh, 20 pound maxima, is going to help turn over our flies a little easier. It's a little bit stiffer. So. Um, uh, this is the leader I use in the winter time. There's no wind. Uh, it's a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, a little bit easier to cast, a little bit easier to, um, a little stiffer, so we don't get as much bow. And on the water ice, stiffer leader, it's going to get a little bit tighter to the flies, allow us more sensitivity. Um, surgeon knot, just to my amnesia here, and then I cover that with UV glue too. So there's nothing that can't it can got it can get caught up in the guides. Um, again, amnesia line, uh, 15 to 20 pound is fine. Uh, again, I measure about fully outstretched arm to about here, and we have our second knot here. Uh, another surgeon, um, and to my cider tippet. So this amnesia one does not have any memory in it. Uh, so we don't get that bow again. Um, it's very highly visible. It's a little bit thicker and, and bright red. So I can pick this up even before I pick up my cider tip it when, as soon as I cast. Sometimes those fish eat right away. I mean, I've cast it out and picked up and there's already a fish on. So, uh, the cider tip that I use, um, scientific anglers, cider tip it, uh, a couple reasons why I use this. I can control how long it is. And it's three colors instead of two. Uh, it comes in zero, two, three, four X. And um, for this, I'm using two X, a little bit uh, thicker than uh, a lot of people use. Uh, drawbacks to this, it, it uh, creates more drag in the water. Uh, it's a little bit easier to see, though, than the uh, um, lighter stuff. And um, it's stronger. And... Um, turns over a little easier so um so most of the videos and stuff you see are uh with check nymphing or nymphing a lot of people uh are fishing smaller creeks and rivers uh, the Yakima is actually quite a big river so um, i run a lot of cider tip i run about three to four feet of cider so start here again fully outstretch my arm to about here and I just run a little extra one to one and a half colors. Uh, so I got about six or seven colors here uh, to work from Where is my amnesia here. Uh, this is because the Yakko is a lot deeper. A lot of the runs we're fishing are a lot deeper. Uh, so um, when we're fishing deeper, I can either, I can even, I've even gone past my amnesia here. Um, that's what the high visible color helps us with. Uh, so here, so for my, um, See, I've left a lot of people like a whisker. You can tie a tippet uh, ring on there. Uh, again, I just do a double surgeon. Um, I typically cut the whiskers off, but I know a lot of people like them, so I left on there just so you can see what one looks like. Uh, from here, I run fluorocarbon. 
Again, SA fluorocarbon, I start with 3X and I run that down. I only do about two wraps on the spool, so only, you know, maybe 10 to 12 inches. Um, and then I tie on 4X tippet off of that. Uh, another triple surgeon here. Uh, as you can see, one tag is a lot longer than the other tag here. So, um, I, I, as I'm tying my surge, I cinch it down this way. Instead of just pulling on both ends to pull tight, I just cinch it down. So that my tag end that is running up towards my main line here is longer than the other tag. I leave the other tag on there just because I found that after catching a lot of fish on the uh, dropper fly, uh, your Pertigone or Frenchie, um, I have actually had that double surgeon, as I showed you in a lot of videos, come untied. So switch to a triple surgeon on my urine rig, and I have left the tag on there. I have not had a problem with fish eating it. So um, again, I'm only running about two wraps of 4X. So I'm only, or flies are actually pretty close together. I like having both flies really close to the bottom. Uh, I found that uh, both flies near the bottom gets more hookups on the dropper fly. Uh, of course, it depends on what time of the year it is. Sometimes a dropper fly, you know, further up in the in the leader, um, proves more effective for like a caddis hatch or something. Um, but uh, yeah, right now I only have about 10 inches from my dropper to my point fly. Um, this would not be a rig I would use in, let's say, springtime. Um, I would run pretty, I, I, I switch it up just about every time. Um, but I would recommend in windier conditions, which we have a lot here, to run um, your leader smaller. So instead of 20 pound maxima at the, at the top, I'd run like 12, 10 or 12 pound. Instead of 15 or 20 pound amnesia, run 8 or 10 pound. Instead of zero or two x cider, run you know three to four x cider, um, and then of course you know just taper it down. So we want that rollover still, like you would think with your normal fly lines, um, with our leader. It's very important to have that, and um, yeah, just play around with it. Um, this is my um, leader that I've chosen to use, and I've you know tweaked it over the years, but um, it's by no means perfect, and um, it's just what I found that uh, works for me and uh, catch a lot of fish off of it. And um, yeah, just uh, try different things. Try it until you find something that you like that works. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at uh, Top Fly Guides and follow us and like us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks, everyone.